hello guys in today's video i'm going to demonstrate uh, how we can leverage php wrappers during the lfi vulnerability once we found so in order to demonstrate php wrappers what i'm going to do i'm going to select db security to medium and i'll click on the file inclusion section i'll click on the file one as you can see the parameter page is equal to is changing to file1.php so oh, in order to test lfi what i'll do the way to test it is dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot slash and etc password password wd file but uh, you can see we were not able to receive any output uh, since medium level has some sort of filtering which is going on behind the scene so if you see here the view source uh, which they are replacing dot dot slash dot dot backward slash so we have to make a payload which can bypass this dot dot slash and dot dot backward slash so i crafted a new payload uh, which has two dots and two dots again to four dots and two slashes in order to bypass this um, so just I, I'll, I'll go ahead and copy this payload and uh, I'll place it here and let's see what will happen yes we were successfully able to bypass uh, dot dot slash filter for LFI vulnerability so this is the worst way but uh, as you know that uh, this is the road uh, read only vulnerability so read only vulnerability can retrieve the files you know you can retrieve the files from um, the victim server but how about to upgrade this to something you know where you can have the control or command uh, execution so i am going to demonstrate to, to at least for three wrappers those are commonly used to once we have LFI vulnerability and the first wrapper known as PHP input wrapper. This is the PHP website and if you go to uh, this website there is a wrapper section. It's wrapper PHP PHP. So first uh, uh, wrapper which I would like to discuss is PHP filter. And this is the one which I am going to uh, discuss. What is the benefit of using this PHP filter? PHP filter actually this helps to get the, the source of the file without executing on the server itself. So how we can do this one and how we can use this PHP filter. So let's go ahead and see this first payload which is PHP filter and I'm converting this into the base64 encoding and I need this etc password file. So I'll copy this, this payload and uh, we'll go ahead and paste this into this see here we got this uh, this output here which is in the base 64 i'll copy this output and go to the part suite and uh, in this part suite i'll go to the decoder and paste this output over here and i'll click on the smart uh, uh, sorry decode as a base 64 let's see here we were able to successfully able to retrieve this file which is etc password file similarly we can retrieve other file as well which is one of the very confidential file if you come here you see uh, in the database here they are showing the war uh, sorry what www as gml dbwa config config or uh, include.php can we retrieve this file as well we go ahead again and let's see can we retrieve this file by using this filter yes we can retrieve this file if you copy this and paste it over into the box decoder let's see what's uh, what's going on in this file see we, this is a starting php tag and if you see here which talks about the database ip address which is locally database the name of the database 
you see the database username and database password and how they are going to connect to over which port so this confidential information can be revealed by the attacker if they caught or they know that in which directory this file resides so this is the php filter which uh, is one of the the filter which is used to bypass so some sort of filtering and retrieve the file without executing in the server itself the second filter which i am going to discuss with you is just php data filter if you go to the php side and here is the data filter see the in the usage section which they talks about the data txt plane and then base 64 and after base 64 you can put your base 64 string base 64 code over here and that encode is going to be executed on the server so i crafted this payload for this and what i'm going to do is that data base 64 and i'll put this php one line that shell and then i'm calling the cmd is equal to id but i have to convert this into the base 64 encoding so i'll go ahead and convert this payload into the base 64 and uh, encode as a base 64 you see here i'll copy this payload and i'll go here and replace this calling this ampersand and then using this cmd is equal to id so let's see what will happen you know first i need to capture this traffic so what i will do i'll go ahead and click on the file inclusion section file one and capture this uh, intercept this request into the pub here comes it once again I'll click on file 2 I'll go to the pub the proxy history you see here file 2 is here I'll send this payload uh, this packet to the repeater and the repeater tab, I'll replace this section which is file2.php with my payload where cmd is equal to id so I'll send this one and as you can see we receive here 200 ok and there is my id which is that data data and the group id is that data data as well and the number for id is 33 can be list out another command as well is equal to ls list out all the files and directories yes that's also working and restart the hostnet the host name is also there then we list out the server in detail yes we can have access to the server detail as well this server it is the one to clean x in 5.41 so it is running over there uh, which will be used to i uh, you know to bypass uh, some sort of filtering or uh, you can say that uh, uh, the restrictions which is put in place by the developer third wrapper is called php input wrapper so let's go ahead and check into the php website first i disable this pub switch and this filter called php input filter we will go to the php and this will say read only stream that allows you to read raw data from the request body and in the case of the post request so that is used in the post and this is the way that to use this this wrapper so php colon double slash and uh, input so we will replace this php wrapper right now and we will craft it this payload so what i will do i will go to this same request and uh, proxy I send this request again to the repeater right now and replacing this file 2.php with my payload which is php 
column forward slash input and then I'll put this one line of PHP uh, PHP code which is PHP echo shell underscore accept ID to execute ID on the server and use it here but one of the thing is uh, which we saw that this works with the post so we will convert it to post send this payload actually this request and we receive here 200 ok and we, we got the id now can we receive other information like this thing yes absolutely we got the host name and uh, can we check other information like what is the IP address of address information yes we got IP address information here so the IP address and submit mass broadcast address and packets how many packets are transferred the flags and the friendly interfaces on the server so this is the other wrapper which is PHP input wrapper and also I would like to show you that uh, how we can convert uh, this PHP uh, wrapper, data wrapper especially into the accessors. So in order to, to demonstrate this we are using the PHP data and application access TTP D base 64 and then encode this payload which is uh, cross site scripting payload into the base 64. So I will copy this hello and go to that uh, application sorry in the pub suite and remove um, this payload here and php input now i place this over here change this method to get and send this payload now you see we are successfully uh, we got 200 ok there is no error in this response and now if I copy the response copy response in the browser just copy this one and uh, you have to have work in this case and uh, if you send this to bug you will see cross site scripting by using LFI and the by leveraging that PHP data wrapper. That's it in this video. Hope you like and and you or you saw all the different type of wrappers. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.